Come on and take your seats and we'll begin this adventure. Welcome to the Brain on Fire or the Putting Out the Brain on Fire seminar series. And this is session one. I have for a long time been unable to make short titles. So the title of this seminar is, as you can see here, uh, this is actually the first of, of uh, two seminars is a se sort of a small series and the second two seminars are second small series. But the first two se is uh, called Visceral and Immune Dysfunctions, What to Do First, Next, and Last. One. Second session is going to be Visceral and Immune Dysfunctions, What to Do First, Next, and Last. Two. This one is going to be focusing on the mesencephalon, cooling off the mesencephalon, or the midbrain as it's often called. And another subtitle, the TNJ is Indicator of Autonomic Endocrine and Immune Activity. And what we're going to do this weekend is, is sort of focus on some of the factors that are related to brain dysfunctions that arise from the midbrain or the mesencephalon. Now most of the time, I'm going to use the word mesencephalon to mean the midbrain, or midbrain I'll sometimes say by accident. Um, to try to keep it consistent, I'll say mesencephalon, or sometimes I'll say mesencephalon or midbrain. And what we're talking about is the top part of the brain stem. And um, we're uh, really trying to turn off the concept of the brain being on fire. And what does the brain on fire mean? Well, it really means that there's some activity going on in the brain where the brain is, is overactive. It's overfiring uh, either neurologically or by inflammation or by uh, changes in its um, inputs, neurological inputs and or outputs. So it's just overactive brain. And we call it brain on fire because the people who originally came up with this term were looking at inflammatory processes in the brain. So we adapted that term. We're trying to figure out how to put out the brain on fire. And so what we're really looking at in this series is a comprehensive assessment and treatment of inflammation and overexcitation in the brain. And we'll elaborate on this as we go along. The brain is our most important and complex organ. When fanned by inflammation and excess excitatory activity, brain neurons become overstimulated to the point of exhaustion or even cell death, the so-called brain on fire. And what is the brain on fire? It's excess neuron firing and or neural inflammation leading to neuron misfiring, further neuron misfiring, neurological signs and symptoms, and even neuron cell death. Now, sometimes we have a problem where we have a neurons which are overfiring, excess neuron firing, because some other neurons underfiring. So something might not be, there might be something overly turned on or it might be something that's not turning off but we can figure these things out and decide where are the sources of, of chemistry and neurology that are affecting the brain and not allowing it to function properly, leading to neurological signs and symptoms and even, and even neuron cell death, which is, of course, the, the worst thing that could happen is, is uh, losing the function of the brain. And so many people are losing the function of their brains these days. 